Hi everyone, my name is Marissa and um, today we're going to be doing the terracotta painting technique that is everywhere. Everyone is doing this and it just looks so cool. Um, but today I thought I'd, I'd give it a go. I got some vases. Uh, they're really, really cheap. I think they were all two pounds. And um, I also thought I'd use this technique on a little Facebook flip. I found these um, uh, lamps and they just they're, they just have such an interesting shape. Very Roman-esque looking. Uh, I just thought that it would be really nice with this sort of painted terracotta technique. So we're going to do the vases first so that I can see what works, uh, what colour looks best, and then we'll do uh, the lamps. So let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this clay. I don't know. I honestly, it's the camera so far away. If you can see it, you can see it. I can't see it. Now I'm wearing glasses. That just shows how blind I am. <laughs> But we're going to use this clay colour first. Uh, I got this one from the range. Just going to use some bicarb and put it in here. Uh, and then we're just going to use a little sponge paper and mix it in. Oh, it is starting to form up. I don't know if you can see there. So, and then we just paint it on. I'm going to use this vase here. I think it'll look the best. So, just check out the stick. definitely going to need two coats because of the pattern on it um, but I also have these two here now this one has like a frosted uh, look to it it's got a couple scratches on it I've got all of these from the charity shop so you know they're bound to have a little bit of something on them um, but what color should I do I have some wall paint some like from um, a hardware store um, I have this butterscotch colour, I don't know if you can see it, butterscotch over here, um, and I've got this ivory colour. I kind of want to see what the ivory looks like, so I'm going to want to do that next. Note to self, do not use baking powder, use baking soda, because look what happened. <laughs> oh, it turned into like a thick mush. Like a cement almost, so let's uh, try that again, shall we? Okay guys, so today um, I'm going to be doing the lamp shape, lamp shape, lamp bases, lamp bases, um, which I'm really excited about. I got a new paint, uh, it's the Burnt Copper number 515, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the ivory, just so that it's not as bright as this one, um, and I think it'll be nicer to match with like a cream or white lampshade so we're going to be doing that now and yeah let's do it oh and I'm going to be putting less baking soda this time so that it's a little bit more um, smooth like 
I love how textured like these came out and this one I love how textured they are um, but for a lampshade I just didn't want little bits because if you touch this too much um, little bits will come off of it so I just thought uh, because this is going to be you know touched to switch on and off and all that um, I want it to be a little bit smoother so let's get started So in the end, the lamps actually took two coats of paint. After the first coat, I thought it looked a little bit too pink. Um, it was more like a burnt salmon color, which I wasn't really a fan of. So uh, on the second coat, I added a little bit more of the clay just to make it a little bit more of a richer color and more terracotta-like. And I think they came out really, really nice. They're not too thick um, like the vases as I added a little less baking soda. So if you want more of a smoother finish, just add less baking soda. It just depends on what you're looking for. But um, yeah, I really like the way they look. All I need to do now is put some bulbs in them. <laughs> and um, yeah, they'll be good to go. So thanks for watching. Bye.